Hey you guys, uh, welcome back to Erica and the Clothes to Row. Today's reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. How y'all doing? Um, take what resonates, leave what don't. Don't try to force anything, you guys. This could be for you or the cross watcher. This could be for family, friends, co-workers, kids, relationship. Whatever you came to the reading for on today. Um, like, subscribe for me, leave me a comment, you guys. If you watched all the way to the end, also like and subscribe and leave me a comment. So we're going to go ahead and get started with you, Pisces, and see what's going on here. I got like three or four different decks here that I'm using, you guys. Hopefully, this is somebody's story. It's like somebody is trying to get some type of judgment to come through for them. Um, or somebody is wanting some type of forgiveness, a second chance around something because they they have now released those feelings of being betrayed and backstabbed. Um, it's like a cycle is closing out and something here is going to be given back to you. Yeah, you're going to move past all that conflict and the um, chaos, the arguing, the fighting, and you're going to move out very victoriously. You're going to have people here surrounding you. They're going to be very supportive of you. Some of you guys are dealing with a Sag. Yeah. Or some type of fire sign here. It's like, um, or you have fire in your chart. I just heard that. It's like you need them to have patience here. Because it's like the divine is working on your behalf to go within and balance things out for you. They're balancing out your past and your future for you. They're bringing things together. This is also my reconciliation card of coming back together. Let's see, spirit. You guys could be dealing with a um an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, somebody who's very stern, very smart, very intelligent. Um, but they can be very um emotionally detached. Spirit, let's see. Can I have three more cards here for the sign of Pisces? Can I have three more cards here for the sign of Pisces? I'm hearing Sagittarius as well. It's like, um, this is a cycle is in for you guys. Um, this is divine time and it's time for a new start within a commitment or a marriage. This is something that um, you have been trying to manifest. This is something um, of a new start here within a, a marriage, a commitment, or a relationship is what I'm feeling. Um, this could also be someone learning a new religion. Learning how to manifest things here. But I'm feeling more to is towards a, a commitment or a marriage. Can I have four cards for the sign of Pisces spirit? Can I have four cards for the sign of Pisces? Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Pisces, another Pisces here. <sighs> Let's see. It's like somebody went under a transformation. Something ended for something new to start here. The old way of doing things had to die out in order for something to start. Because a lot of you guys pulled away from society or people in order to go under this um, transformation here. It's a new phase that's starting. And if a lot of you guys are finna um, start a new path with someone, someone is very um, mature, could be older than you. A lot of you guys are fighting that dark and that light side of yourself as well, especially going through this transformation or this rebirth. It's causing you to pull away. Let's see. You guys could also be fertile around this time as well. Let's see. This could be... Um, a decision that is needing to be made around a relationship to rekindle something, to start something new, or to try something that's already existing, trying to bring that back. 
it's like this could be a decision out of two different people as well but i'm not feeling that i'm just feeling more to where you're not able to make a decision if you want to restart this up or not because um i feel like somebody walked away in the past they felt defeated and they gave up and they threw in the towel here let's see why is the ace of cups here that's the two of swords for the sign of Pisces spirit Someone could have been very reckless and very um, irrational in the past. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. But it's like, um, some of you guys could also, it's like it's time to go ahead and get their strength back and their courage back. Because a new start is going to try to come in for you guys. Something that has been manifested, that's been creative. being able to tame a situation without forcefully having to enforce anything here let's see two card spirit yeah it's like somebody is wanting to return and wanting to come back and work on something here i have the um the Six of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. This could be um, a childhood friend, an old friendship, an old relationship, and it's wanting to resume here. They're wanting to um, be more focused on it, um, pay more attention to it, basically just put more work into it and more dedication into this. I'm going to pull... Let's see. I'm pull from this deck. And get three cards on oh, um, the overall outcome for you, Pisces. Let's see. Spirit, let me have three cards for the sign of Pisces. Yeah, see, like I said, um, something ended. Somebody walked away. They felt defeated. They threw in the towel here. You got the death card again. It's like somebody's going under a transformation. Something ended. Um, or you could be going through a rebirth. But it's leading you now to where you're having to make a decision on which way you're going to go. Which path are you going to choose. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. The page of cups. Someone could be getting ready to come in with some type of apology. Some type of offer or gift. So, Pisces, if this resonated with you, like and subscribe. Leave me a comment, you guys. If you watched it all the way to the end, like and subscribe for me. Thank you for choosing Eric and the Coast to row. Y'all have a good one.